Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In the previous video, we have discussed the vector nature, the spatial effect of the vector operator del and the vector del operator operation as gradient. Now, in this video, we are going to see the del operator representation for the physical interpretation of expansion or contraction, which is further called as positive or negative divergence. So let us have a look. So the term is divergence. So for understanding the divergence, let us take the example of a balloon. The balloon is having this kind of shape. So now if we add some more air to the balloon, so that time the size of the balloon increases. So this is actually expansion. What we say volume has been increased. Now, whereas if we allow the air from this balloon to pass out, so the size of the balloon will decrease. So in that case, we will draw a small balloon. So this case is called as expansion and this case is called as contraction. Now the expansion and contraction concepts using the del operator is nothing but the divergence. Here the divergence is the vector operation which is effecting on the net volume because of this divergence operation we can say the increase in volume the output is positive we say positive divergence and if the volume is decreased that is contraction we say it is negative divergence so now let us have the representation of divergence and further talk about the divergence theorem so as we know that the del operator has the form del del x ax cap del del y ay cap del del z az cap now if any vector a we take which has the form ax ax cap x component capital ay small ay cap which is y component and capital az small az cap which is z component so for representation of divergence using the vector representation and the del operator we can have dot product operation so del bar dot of a bar so here we take the dot product of both these brackets so del del x ax cap del del y ay cap del del z az cap dot product with ax ax cap ay ay cap az az cap so the dot product between these two brackets will give us del del x of capital ax plus del del y of capital ay plus del del z of capital az so here the divergence of a which is represented by del bar dot of a bar has this form where we find the three terms and in these three terms we don't find any unit vector so i can say that the outcome of divergence is scalar in nature whereas both the operands a bar and del bar these are vectors now if it is the case that for any vector a the divergence is equal to zero so let us have the representation divergence of a bar is equal to zero so if we get to know the divergence of a bar is equal to zero the physical interpretation meaning of this thing is that for the vector a bar there is no increase into the size volume there is no decrease into the size volume so it means there is no expansion or contraction that is why the divergence is equal to zero 
in any of the numerical problems you come to know that the value is positive it means it is expansion if the value is negative it means it is contraction now let us have the effect of divergence in the three dimensional space so which is represented mathematically as so mathematical representation of divergence of a in another form will be limit delta v tends to zero delta v for the differential volume surface integral a bar dot of ds upon delta v so here delta v approaches to zero now if we take the contraction of any volume finally the end will be in a point for a point we take into consideration that the volume is increasing it will be in the form of uh, geometrical shapes here we can say so this was divergence now using the concept of divergence there is a theorem called as divergence theorem so let us have a look on divergence theorem divergence theorem now for divergence we have discussed the example of a balloon which is going to increase in the size or decrease in the size so like a balloon if there is any object let us say in the rectangular coordinate system we take a parallelopiped or cube for analysis purpose so here the divergence effect on to this particular object can be explained with the help of either surface values or surface area values or the volume values so we can use two types of integrals surface integrals and volume integrals so the same physical concept we can have representation using two forms one form is let us say closed surface integral a bar dot of ds bar which is nothing but volume integral divergence of a bar dv you can say that both these things are same why because surface integral is double integral the two dimensions give us the surface integral the volume integral is having three dimensions triple integral but here we take one differentiation del operator the name is vector differential spatial operator or vector spatial differential operator so finally there will be the two integrals on lhs as well as rhs the physical procedure whatever happen in expansion or contraction here it is explained in terms of surface integrals the object is closed from all the sides we have to take into consideration all the surfaces of that particular objects that is why we put the closed sign over the surface integral and this is the volume integral of divergence of a bar so this was divergence and divergence theorem thank you